Oh, hello! Welcome back! I am just checking some emails. Enhance. Enhance! Oh! Hey! I think we just got another email. It says it's from Caleb. Let's open it up and see what it is. Hey, Hook Book Barrel, why did the leaves change colors? Great question, Caleb! Why do the leaves change colors? Let's talk about it. Come on! Are you ready? Let's go and talk a brand new book. Let's take a look in the Hook Book Barrel. Oh, shall we see what the story is today? Let's take a look in the Hook Book Barrel. The Hook Book Barrel. Welcome back to the Hook Book Barrel. My name is Jay, and it's so good to see you. So, Caleb asked a really great question. Why do leaves change color. They go from green to orange and yellow and sometimes red or purple. So let's find out. So this is a maple leaf and this maple leaf is green. So what makes the leaves different colors like green? So you can think of leaves kind of like little kitchens for the tree. So the leaves take in sunlight and air and water and they make food for the tree. And so the little helpers or the little cooks in the kitchen are called chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is what makes leaves green. And then in the autumn or fall, when there's less daytime, so the days are shorter, the days are colder, less food is being made in the kitchen, and so the chlorophyll starts to go away. And that starts to turn the leaf yellow or orange. And the yellow and orange little buddies that are inside the leaf are called carotenoids. And they're always there, it's just that when there's chlorophyll around, it covers the yellow and the orange. And sometimes the leaves can turn red or dark red like my sweater or even purple. And that's from something called anthocyanins. And those are basically just when sugar gets stuck in the leaf. So let's go over it one more time. I got my three colors, three main colors. Green is when there's chlorophyll and this is what you see in the summer. Yellow and orange is when the chlorophyll goes away when the days start getting shorter. And those are from the carotenoids. And then finally, we have the anthocytins, which is the leftover sugar, which makes leaves, some leaves, red or even purple. Pretty cool, huh? And that made me think we could do a craft with these leaves. What do you think? I think it's craft time. Let's do it. Let's go! Oh, 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 oh. Ah, there you are. So to do this craft, all you need, some leaves, some crayons, and a piece of paper. Let's do a craft. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is get a piece of paper. Then we're gonna take our crayons, make sure we have them ready. I chose red and green. Then we're gonna take a leaf. Uh, I'm gonna try a maple leaf, the green one, and we're gonna put it under the paper. So put the leaf face down so that the bumps are sticking up. I'm gonna put my paper on top of the leaf and then you just color. Try to trace over the leaf. And what's really cool is that the leaf is going to start coming onto the paper. Yeah, look at that. Do you see it? Whoa, that's so cool. And we could do another leaf 
and maybe do a different color. Look at that. You just color over it and then the leaf starts showing up on the other side of the paper. And you can make all kinds of cool drawings and maybe combine colors and just get silly and crazy. There's no right or wrong answer because it's fun. And so you could do this craft with different kinds of colors or different kinds of leaves. Look at this big one. Yeah. You can even use a small one. So just make sure... I thought I heard a splash. Maybe not. Okay, so you just make sure... There was a splash. And let's get... Hooked on a book, that's right. Okay, so since I always have to go in here and get my hands wet, I have an idea. Ha <laughs> ha, I have a trusty glove. <sighs> it's still squishy. Wah, I got it. Ah, oh, look at this. This is called Valley the Wiggle Butt Pup. And this is written by Jay Lynn, illustrated by Juliet Meyer. Let's get hooked on a book. This is Valley the Wiggle Butt Pup. Valley loved to play with her siblings, Sparky and Sunny, in their cozy den. Together they jump, tumble, and wrestle, their paws waving in the air. And when Sparky nipped at the tufty toy chasing him, Valley had to join in. Don't bite Sparky's tail, Mama warned. What's a tail? Valley asked. Mama waved her fluff. This, she said. It wags when you're happy. The three pups turned and twisted, inspecting their rears. My tail is cute and curly, said Sunny. My tail is long and wavy, said Sparky. Valley spun round and round. Where's my tail, she howled. Mama frowned at her. You don't have one because... But before Mama could explain, Valley dashed out the door. I'm going to find my tail no matter what. I need to find my tail so I can wag it and be happy. Out in the field stood a big golden dog. I want a tail like that, Valley said. Valley gathered wheat into a puffy pile and weaved it into her fur. I have a beautiful tail, Valley said. Now I can be happy. Her butt began to wiggle, but her tail was too light to wag. Valley refused to give up. Maybe she could find the perfect tail in the forest. Suddenly, a speckled brown dog went trotting by. I want a tail like that, Valley thought. Valley chose the perfect stick and stuck it to her rump. I have a sturdy tail, Valley said. Now I can be happy. Her butt began to wiggle, but her tail was too sticky to wag. Wish. Valley couldn't give up. Maybe her tail was waiting for her in town. There, a little orange dog yawdled outside a pastry shop. I want a tail like that, Valley decided. Valley sniffed out a twirly cinnamon bun and balanced it on her rump. I have a yummy tail, said Valley. Now I can finally be happy. Her butt began to wiggle, but her tail was too tasty to wag. It was nearly bedtime when Valley finally trudged back to her warm den. Papa met her at the door. Did you find your tail? No, Valley whimpered. Now I'll never know when I'm happy. Of course you will, said Papa as he spun around. Valley gasped. Where's your tail? We're Swedish Valhens, Papa explained. We can be born with long tails, straight tails, smooth tails, curly tails, or no tails at all. Every tail end is perfect, just the way it is. Really? Valley's butt began to wiggle. 
You look happy, said Papa. Bally gasped. I am. We wiggle butt pups don't need tails to be happy, said Papa. So do you still want one? Nope, said Valley. I'm perfect just the way I am. That was such a good book. Holy smokes. What was your favorite part? Yeah, I like that too. My favorite part was when Valley got like a cinnamon bun stuck to its bum. That was so silly. <laughs> ah. Well, you know what? I think it's time to put this on our stand. Ta-da! And that is the end of our show. So I want to make sure to say thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you had fun, but most importantly, I want you to know that we are so proud of you. We can't wait to see what you bring into this world. You could even do leaf crafts with crayons. That'd be so cool. But as always, you have to make sure that you dream big, 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 big. You work harder than hard and you have a great day. I'll see you later. Whoa, and I almost forgot to ask, did you see my cool truck? It's kind of like a tow truck and it does this and it drives. And you know what the coolest part about it is? We hit it somewhere in the episode. Yep, you're gonna have to look for it. Ta-ta.